<laughs> Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. I'm Jay Bond, and today I'm going to be reviewing Arrow Video's brand new box set, Killer Dames, which features two gothic chillers by Emilio P. Miraglia. This is a limited box set, limited to 3,000. Both of these films are from the early 1970s, and they're giallo films, so they're Italian whodunit stories that always have these crazy twists in them. The two films included in this pack are The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Both of these films are brand new 2K restorations of the original negatives, so they look absolutely gorgeous. They've got the perfect amount of grain, the colors are nice and vibrant like you'd want them to be, and I'm actually really shocked at how high quality these transfers were. Everything looked stunning. I want to break down the special features that are included on these discs. For both of them, we have a 1080p Blu-ray, and we've got the standard definition DVD. We have a couple different audio tracks, including the Italian and the English, uh, both in mono audio. Both films also have archival footage, as well as a ton of extra new features that I'll talk about when I go into each film more in depth. It's definitely worth noting the quality of this package. It's a nice, solid box. We have gorgeous new artwork from Giles Vronk, and reversal sleeves with the original artwork as well. Another great feature this box set has, and it's perfect for collectors, it's a 60-page booklet. It's full of photos from the films and essays from horror critics and other writers. It's really, really cool. It feels great. I love the finish on it. It's kind of like a matte feel to it. This is just a nice little add-on to have as a collector because... You know, it's just really cool. You have something extra to go along with your films if you want to read up a little bit more. Now digging into each film a little bit further, we're going to talk about The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave. This film is a gothic chiller. It's about this troubled aristocrat, Alan, played by Anthony Steffen, who is haunted by the death of his first wife, Evelyn. He tries to move on. He ends up marrying Gladys, played by Marina Malfatti. Things don't go so well. Alan ends up kind of abducting girls and bringing them to his torture chamber and kind of whipping them and stuff. It gets a little bit weird, and there's a lot of repetitiveness when it comes to these, like, weird torture chamber scenes. I mean, it doesn't seem that dark in a sense because it's so well lit and it's so vibrant. It's a little hard to explain, but all the while there's speculation that his ex-wife, Evelyn, has returned from the grave and starts killing people. But, you know, you kind of figure out what's really happening closer to the end of the film. It does have a really cool last, like, 15, 20 minutes. So hang in there. The film also features some Euro cult stars, including Giacomo Rossi Stewart and Erica Blanc. I will say that one of the best features of this film, aside from the array of beautiful naked women, it definitely has to be the soundtrack by Bruno Nicolai. It's got this really haunting presence it's that classic Italian synth. It sounds great, and it's something I could listen to over and over again. Some of the unique features on this disc include a new audio commentary by Troy Howarth, an exclusive introduction by Erica Blanc, a new interview with critic Stephen Thrower, The Night Erica Came Out of the Grave, an exclusive interview with Erica Blanc, The Whip in the Body, which is an archival interview with Erica Blanc from back in the day. We have Still Rising from the Grave, also an archival interview with production designer Lorenzo Baraldi, and it has the original Italian theatrical trailer. Moving on to the next film, it's The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. This was such a great film. I really enjoyed this one. It stars Barbara Boucher and Marina Malfatti, who was also in the other film. It's about the curse of the Red Queen, which happens every hundred years, and it needs to kill seven fresh victims. Essentially, one girl kills her sister, and there's speculation that her sister comes back and begins killing a bunch of people. This film has some really great kill scenes, some nice big locations, lots of bright colors, and very cool camera moves, and it's a really ambitious film. In one scene, they actually flood an entire room, and it just looked incredible. This movie also has the B-movie legend Sybil Danning in it, and one of the special features on this disc is actually talking all about her life. It's really nice to hear like a brand new interview from her and learn a little bit more about how she got into the business. Along with that, we have some new audio commentary by Alan Jones and Kim Newman, another interview with critic Stephen Thrower, uh, more archival footage with the costume designer Lorenzo Baraldi. We have another archival interview with actor Marino Massi, which is rounding up the usual suspects. And we have If I Met Emilio Miraglia Today, an archival featurette with Erica Blanc, Lorenzo Baraldi, and Marino Massi. And we have another archival interview with Barbara Boucher, an alternate opening to the film, 
and the original Italian theatrical trailer. All in all, I was extremely impressed with the Killer Dames box set. It's perfect for collectors. It's got a nice box. It's got brand new art, lots of special features for each movie. And for the cherry on top, we have that really cool 60-page booklet that really makes this a limited piece. If I were to rate this release, I would give it four and a half rats being pushed through a tube out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the films if you've seen them. If you haven't and you want to check them out, I have links in the description where you can find it. And if you can, leave a comment letting me know what you thought about this style of video. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while now. If you have any advice on what you think I can switch up, what you want more footage of, what you think I can include in the future, let me know. Thank you very much for watching.